wiring loom uh, is required there's a switch panel one switch for the ignition one switch for the fuel pump one switch to start the donkey engine and the throttle cable uh, lead for the donkey engine actually runs to what would have been the choke lever for the original bike now monday um lost the date 23rd couldn't get the bike started at the weekend and so i've called dave back from chris appleby's and he's going to come over on thursday with the big donkey engine we had strapped on the side just to get the bike running um hopefully that will get the bike running and then it should start okay on the little donkey engine I think I probably flooded it um, at the weekend, so I'm just going to let it dry out. I've got all the plugs out and the carbs off. Put the rear brake on. There it is. All wired up and ready to go. Um, but we've also done the front brakes. Rebuilt them. I've just finished the Goodridge hoses. They've gone on rather nicely. The originally, uh, these brakes went on that way and I reversed the forks. But of course, what I didn't realise is that the fixings aren't truly central on the uh, on the forks so i have to space this side with a one mil washer and that side uh, it um, it just fits quite nicely actually okay new donkey engine on uh what about your airplane it's on oh yeah it's on there Ready when you are. Oh, hang on. Put that on. Okay. Oh. Yeah, we flooded that engine all right. It's just pumping petrol out all over the shop. We're going for second attempt. We've cleaned all the stuff that could catch fire out the way. And uh, we've got fire extinguishers and bucket of water there. Should cover your tire with petrol. Don't matter. No. no. Uh, let's just get that cloth out of the way. Help the fire. Right. I won't. Uh, I won't prime it again. When you're ready. Just go get on the front, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we let just let it cough and splutter a bit. <laughs> All that's been completed, the wire loom etc needs testing with another run up.
little gap there, um, not really a problem uh, when that's painted black and tailpiece all fit perfectly and this is now the side of uh, the rear panel on and the seat and you guess we'll get an idea of how long it is again various gears and relays in there alternator here uh, BMW K1000 gearbox down here and if you want you can count the cylinders let's see typical McKibney carb this one here and the throttle and there you have it